Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial for adding interactive content onto a video. My name is Dimitris Kiriago and with this tutorial we will see the last two options of the toolbar for interactive elements on H5P package. Okay, the last two options are interactive in the sense of navigation. They are there for the purpose of navigating the students on any part of the video that they want to navigate towards. Specifically, we have two options, crosswords and navigation hotspots. Let's see the first one, crosswords. Try to drop it, same as before, and see that it has a slightly different presentation. First thing, as always, is specifying when do you want that to appear to the users, to the students, so I can specify that it should be there at the start of the video, and it will last for 10 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna post the video so they have a look at it. And the question text, so the instruction to them will be in the form of um, jump, to any part of the lecture. And you may want to say choice text is uh, first part. And that will jump them straight to the 30th second. Okay. If they choose it, so you may want to add an optional message, you will be redirected to the introduction. You may have second part where you talk about, I don't know, um, programming principles. And if they click that, they will jump to the third minute of the lecture. If chosen, give them a message. You will be redirected. This is optional. You don't need to add this part to the second part of the lecture. All right, you may continue adding choices. But if you have a, the third part and so on. Exercises, all right, so that will jump into the fifth minute. So you jump them anywhere you want. Chosen text, make sure you understand the lecture before proceeding to the exercises, like a warning message here. So once you click done, you will see that if you save and display how it will appear in from the student side. There you are. So we set it up to be from the zero up to the 10th second of the video. You can see that it's paused automatically and it has three parts. I need to do a better job in um, setting up the width and the height of this element, but this is how it appears. Let me go and do it now. So edit settings. Moving on to the category editor in the second step. And that's one right here. So I can just Enlarge it and make it readable. I think that's better. So once we click again, save and display, we can see the changes applied. There you are. Zero second doesn't go through it, post, post. So the student can jump straight to any part of it. You will be right directed to the second part of the lecture. Continue. So you can go to the third second, third minute of the lecture. So if I go back, I can jump to the first part, getting a different confirmation message, right? See, 30th second. And similarly, if I can set up third part exercises, 
I'm getting the corresponding message. I can click OK and go on, or I can just click pause, hit play, and continue from where I am right now. Ignore it. So if I click continue in this case, I will jump to the fifth minute of the video. The second type of interactive element in this category is the navigation hotspot. So once again, go back to step two. And this is the part right here. So you may have seen it in other videos that you may have used as a user. So you drop it, you want to drop it on the left hand side. And it says once it's been clicked, what do you want to do? Do you want the user to jump on a specific time code, timestamp in the video, or do you want to open up a new page? So it's like one stop either inside the video, jump at a certain point in the video, or move on to another page outside of this uh, video. So if it's time code, you just set up the mark here. If it's another page, you set up the URL which it may be, for example, last week's lecture. You do want to have some visual there. So for example, I recommend circular and make sure it's visible. So select, for example, red signifies attention, or you may want to use blue. Okay, so choose something. Add blinking effect, I will point out to give an effect that you attract the attention of the, of the student. An alternative text, say last week lecture. Okay. So that's the alternative text. So you want to have it here, last week lecture. The alternative text is um, if the browser cannot display this um, element, it will show that text instead of the graph. So we click done with this. So we can change it a little bit so it doesn't take a lot of space. All right, so we'll just go back. Yep, show label. We need to say show label. And then I'm going to select the white color because I've selected the blue that you have. So in this case, I may want to have it. Yeah, something like that. So in this case, um, let me go back to it. Yeah, from the zero to the 10 second. And it's not gonna post the video, let it play. Save and display so we can see how it looks like from the side of the student. There you go. You can see the blinking effect goes on. Right. So if they click on it, it will open up a new URL, a new tab. In this case, Google, it could be anything you want. So those are the two last options for adding interactive elements onto your video. And those two last options have to do with navigation, either inside the video or onto an external page. Thank you very much.